Okay, our next lesson after arithmetic sequence will be geometric sequence. They are all sequences, but they differ the way they go in line. So what's geometric sequence? A geometric sequence is when the quotient of any two consecutive terms is constant, which means that like if I have 3, 9, 27, and so on. 9 divided by 3 is 3, 27 divided by 9 is 3, and this is called a common ratio. So second one divided by first, third divided by second will be always constant, and we call that one a common ratio. So for a geometric sequence, we have a formula T, and the general term is A, which is the first term, R is the common ratio to the power of N minus 1. Remember, the power n minus 1 is only for r, it's not for a. So r is common ratio, and a is always the first term, and n is number of terms. Okay, so we have this formula here. So let's see some examples here. Okay, so number one, if I'm given three, six, twelve, and so on, find the fourteenth term, find T14. So we just apply the formula here, which is T14 is equal to A is three, the common ratio 6 divided by 3 is 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So the common ratio is 2 to the power of n is 14 minus 1. Therefore, 3, 2 to the power of 13 is equal to... We have... We do a calculator here. We have 24,000... 576. So this is 14th term. Number 2. Find the number of terms. Find the number of terms. Okay, I'm given 4, 12, 36 until 26 to 44. If we are given this kind of question, we always see the last term is called always Tn. So since I have Tn, since I have A, since I have the common ratio, I can always find the unknown. My unknown in this case is if I have Tn, A, R, N minus 1, I know Tn, I know A, I know R, my unknown is N. Therefore, 26, 244 is equal to A is 4, common ratio is 12 divided by 4, which is 3, to the power of N minus 1. To solve this kind of questions, always we say, we divide this by this. So we bring the 4, divide by 26, 2, 4, 4, divide by 4 is equal to 3 to the power n minus 1. That means we isolate the term with the exponent, with the unknown exponent. So when we divide this one using calculator, I get 65, 61. 65, 61 is equal to 3 to the power n minus 1. At this point, I can use trail and error. That's what we do. Or we can use even logarithms, if we know logarithms. By trail and error, we mean we look for a number where if the base is 3, 3 to the power what gives me 65, 61? I use trial and error. By trial and error, I find this will be 8. 3 to the power 8 will give me 65, 61. 
which is 3 to the power n minus 1. If I have the same base, we know that the exponents must be equal. Therefore, 8 equal to n minus 1. Therefore, n equal to 9. So, in this case here, when, if we know, if we know logarithms, that means we put log on both sides here, log of 65, Sixty-five, sixty-one equal to log of 3 to the power n minus 1. From the rules of logarithms, we know 65, 61 is n minus 1 times log of 3. Then we say n minus 1 is log 65, 61 divided by log 3 is equal to n minus 1 and then we'll find out this one to be 8 equal to n minus 1 then n equal to 9 you use logarithms if it looks like difficult to find a number but by trial and error I can find it right away if it is an exact number this is useful when you cannot find this number very easily okay so this is one kind of questions other kind of questions we have is in if we are given a geometric sequence we are given we are told that it is geometric sequence in this geometric sequence if I'm given t4 is 96 and t8 is 1536 find the 15th term find t5 so we have an equation always the same equation tn equal to a r n minus 1 I substitute t for 96 so 96 is equal to a is my unknown a Okay, a okay, and then r n minus 1, which means that 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 1, which means 96 is equal to a r to the power of 3. And I have another equation with 1, 15, 36. 15, 36 is equal to a r n is 8 8 minus 1 which means 15 36 is equal to a r to the power 7 now these are the two equations I have so we have two unknowns here two unknowns which are a and r I cannot use substitution or elimination here because these are like multiplication so I say okay let's divide one equation by the other equation so if I say 15 36 divided by 96 is equal to a r to the power 7 a r to the power 3 whenever it is geometric we divide so that we eliminate one of this so a and a are crossing out 15 36 divided by 96 okay so uh, when we do that we have 16 therefore 16 is equal to a and the a cross out r7 divided by r3 is r to the power of 4 to find r we do r will be the fourth root of 16 16 the fourth root of 16 equal to r in my calculator which is equal to 2 equal to r 
So we found r equal to 2. So now we have to find a. So to find a, I have I have 96 is equal to a r is 2 to the power of 3. So 96 equal to 2 to the power 3 is 8, 8 a. a will be 96 divided by 8, which is 12 is equal to a. So now we have a and we have r. So our question is now to find t15. t15 will be a is 12, r is 2, 15 minus 1, which is 12 to the power of 14. So we find this one to be 1 96 6 or 8 this is exponential function exponential growth is always a very large number so we got 196608 so these are the basic things for the geometric sequence